Happy Tuesday, everyone. Hello, 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 Joshua. So last week, I I thought that we made a very generous and 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 I might even I might even call it um um saint like offer for you and I to have a healing discussion with Carrie Smith and her pastor. I felt like that was a very generous offer on our part, or mostly on your part. I, I was a little bit peer pressured into it, but I agreed. Like, and I thought it was a nice offer. I thought it was a nice gesture, and we just haven't heard back anything, and I'm a little disappointed. I'm not surprised, if only because I think that during that discussion, you may have been a little bit heated, and I think I'm never heated. I don't know what you're talking about. Was laced with profanity, and I believe that you may have called Kerry a word that I am not allowed to say. That's for sure. Well, I mean, I think that after two years of dealing with nonsense, I might be entitled to a word here or there. But to my credit, I did do a follow up video, uh, basically saying I am completely serious about this offer. I promise I will not yell. I promise I will not insult. I promise I will not even swear out of respect for Christian. Christianity, and mm-hmm. still we have received no response. In fact, the only response that I have received is Carrie tweeting, calling me a parasite and a monster and a vampire. Am I a parasite? Am I, I unaware? I wouldn't call you a parasite. No. 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 You, I, no, I wouldn't call you a parasite. Um, I wouldn't use that word to describe you. No. But you know, all you can do is focus on the energy that we're flowing, right? And we can flow love to everyone, even our enemies. Um, I think that that's the name of the game, especially because we are under a full strawberry moon in Sagittarius. It's all about Venus. It's all about love. It's all about forgiveness. I think that might be the way to go. So if you do want to connect with Kerry and or her pastor, I think that we need to flow more love in their direction so they're not scared away which i don't i wouldn't blame them if um you know if they were well i mean i guess i definitely like i actually thought about this and i i have to admit i was a little bit taken aback on the show when you sprung this idea on me out of nowhere and after i'd had a really horrible week but i actually sat back and thought about this and i was like you know what from a, I'm obviously I'm not a Christian, but like from a Christian perspective, if I were pretending to be a Christian, as I think that Carrie and her pastor both are, I would want to engage in a public healing conversation because I really think that that would. I mean, no, truly though, like okay, yeah, I was a little snarky just then, but truly no, like if if I was out there professing to be a Christian then wouldn't I want to act like Christ would act in any of these scenarios? And I just feel like, you know, it's not even about, I was thinking about this the other night and it's like, it's not even the, the about her and I, because I don't think we're ever going to be besties. Let's just be honest. But I do think it would actually do a lot of good in the world to, for, for communities of people who have kind of been at each other's throats for a long time to see two people trying to come together and resolve their differences and move on like adults. I think that that would not only be beneficial for, or Carrie and I, I think that would be actually beneficial for anyone who watched the conversation as long as all parties were able to rein in the nonsense and actually act like adults. Am I wrong? Well, I think that you have a point. I think especially because both you and Carrie are very popular and very valued by your audiences, that if you could potentially patch things up and forgive each other, that could that could initiate other people forgiving. And when we forgive, we get so much more energy. Like we get so much more love in our hearts and and we're able to do so much. Like forgiveness gives you so much more uh, energy. So that would be, you know, it'd be an exercise in leadership. It would be something really, really nice if both of you could do that. That would be really cool. Well, I would put my nonsense aside for the purpose of doing this. I already made that decision. Do you feel like as someone who has known me and worked with me for a very long time, do you feel like I would be able to act like an adult and have a non-yelly, non-sweary conversation? I think that as we got, like, if it was a yes and they would, I think that you would psychologically prep yourself to behave. Yes. Like right now, you still seem a little, as you had said, a little snarky. But I think that if... If they were open to it, I think that you would psychologically prep yourself most likely for a healing conversation. That's my guess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, can we just psychic this? Can we just see how it would go if this conversation were to happen? And I would obviously do the psychological prep I would need to do to not jump through the computer and strangle her. If this conversation were to happen and everyone is on their best behavior, 
How would this conversation go? What would the outcome of this conversation be? Are we talking about you and Carrie? Well, you and Carrie, well, me and Carrie and you and Carrie's pastor, because I, I, I'm going to need intermediaries. I will. Like, I, like, I, I need you to, to, you know, like, I don't necessarily think that you would be able to rein me in from saying anything that I want to say, but out of respect for you, I think I'd be much more respectful with you involved in the conversation. Yeah. Okay. So if the four of us got together, mm -hmm. you know, and decided to like hash things out in the name of love, in the name of healing, in the name of forgiveness, what what would the outcome be? Is that what we're yes. asking? Yes. If we were to get together. Name it's gonna be like love. Tennis swords. Sorry? It's going to be like Ten of Swords, the tower. No, <laughs> not. What would it be like? What would the outcome be? And tell me when to stop shuffling. Stop. Let's see. Ah. It looks really, really good. Mm-hmm. So you get the Hierophant. This is about doing the right thing. And it's about leadership. And all four of us would be considered, I think, a Hierophant. Um, in some capacity, because we use our voice to teach values, right? And the Hierophant is about doing the right thing. And it's also about institutions, institutions of learning and values. At the end of the day, it's all about group and shared values. Next, we have temperance, which is keeping the even flow of feelings, no matter what it is that you're feeling, but it's also about tempering um, and smoothing things over. And it's a very, very positive card. It's all about expansion and growth. I mean, think of it. If there was forgiveness, right? There's so much more love that you both would experience in each other's lives. You know what I mean? So that's really positive. And then finally, you get six of wands, which is called victory, the victory card. So you both would be riding even higher, most likely, than you are now. And who knows? Me, miss, me and Pastor J, Pastor Bradley. Bradley, Pastor Bradley and I, who knows? It would be victorious for us too, you know? It, I mean, it's close. If we got you guys to talk and forgive each other, that would be, I think, on par with turning water into wine. Some really. might even say you were doing the Lord's work, really. I love the idea of doing the Lord's work. I think we all need to play our part in doing the Lord's work as much as possible. Yes. It looks well, really good. So now we have a nice prediction, Carrie. I am making this yeah, offer I'm sure she cares again, about tarot cards. Carrie. No, I'm sure it's very, I'm sure it's very <laughs> blasphemous for us to even use cardboard pieces of paper with picture on them. I understand it's a non-Christian thing to do, even though you did go to Catholic school. 12 but, years, 12 well, years. 12 years of Catholic school right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But Carrie. Thank God too. And I don't regret it for one second. Like it taught me so much. And I love the nuns, most of them, most of them. <laughs> well that okay i was gonna ask a, t a question that was like not appropriate for this particular thing but we'll save that question for you're like oh no don't go down that road but i want to say this carrie the offer is still open bradley if you are being a responsible pastor the offer is still open as i have said i will behave myself i will show up and and come to the table and try my very best to put all this nonsense behind us it's now up to you guys so what would jesus do come to the table <laughs> have a conversation we're we're ready to go these would Anytime. be like where's that cross <laughs> if this ever happens i'm gonna get i'm gonna legitimately get a giant ass crucifix to hang behind me on the wall just to just so if it, if it bursts into flames at any point i'll know to run in the opposite direction <laughs>